Welcome to the Catbird Quilts. I'm Kathy Martin. A lot of you have asked about the quilt behind me, but it's not a quilt, it's a crocheted blanket. And it's been on my couch, and some of you have asked about it, so I thought we'd take just a minute and talk about it today. So I found a picture of a crocheted blanket similar to this one, different color palette, slightly different. And I thought it was so beautiful and I could not find the pattern. I couldn't find anything online other than just this one image that just kind of got my attention. And I thought, you know, I think I can do that. And so I made a plan and here's how it goes. These are just granny squares. That's all it is. It's just granny squares sewn together on point. Um, I started with the, so it's a gradient from black, charcoal gray, gray, white. Each one of these diamonds is actually just a granny square with some of you have heard of the, I think it's called magic circle is one of the names of it. So I just did the magic circle center and then, you know, worked around one. So I started with a circle and did that and then did one row and then to white and then one more row and then to white and then one more row and then to white. And honestly, <laughs> really all there is to it. It is attached um, because it's on point. So it's attached on the diagonal. So each one of these granny squares, um, I sewed together this way and then sewed each diagonal row together. Um, at the end of the stitching all that together, uh, or however you call it, it's not really stitching. Anyway, weaving, I don't know. I did have, as you can imagine, the edge of the blanket looks like this. And so I went back and made, well, in quilting it would be like a half square triangle. <laughs> But I just made the triangles and filled it in and then did two, it's a little stretched right now, but um, did two rows of double crochet to give it a border and hold it all together. Honestly, that's it. I put pictures of it on my face, my personal Facebook, and one of my friends loved it so much. And she has a friend who owns a quilt shop and is very experienced and talented in crocheting and they offered to make a pattern for me which don't ask me why <laughs> I never actually took them up on I could not even begin to tell you how to make this because I'm not really a crocheter I just kind of did it on a whim but for those of you that have liked it it really is not hard um, if you look up the directions for how to make a granny square that's kind of it you just start with a, you don't do the normal um, granny square center you do a magic circle center and that's it so if you want to make this for yourself, consider this your free pattern. I don't have any more additional <laughs> information to give you because honestly, I followed somebody's tutorial for how to make a granny square to learn how to do it. So help yourself to it. I hope you love it. Um, and honestly, there was one final thing I wanted to say. I sent the inspiration picture, not my actual blanket, but the inspiration picture to a person in my life and said, isn't this amazing? And she texted back and said, one day it stuck with me. I don't, I don't want to do this one day. I want to do this now. And the things that I love and the inspiration that I get to make something, I want to make it now. And I want to make now, now until I can't make anymore. So let me encourage you, if you have any interest, go do it. Don't do it one day. Do it now. This is the Catbird Quilts. I'm Kathy Martin. Thank you for watching. <laughs>